Welcome to Make Something with me, David Picciuto, and today I'm gonna to show you how to batch out my biggest seller at craft shows. Check it. I have made a video on these in the past, but I continue to sell out of them at craft shows, and I want you to be able to profit from your woodworking. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head on into KenCraft and pick up some wood. So we got the wood that we needed. We got some hickory. That's going to be the main part of the wine displays. Got a little bit of walnut for some accent. And then also got this beautiful piece of pine that we're gonna to use to make some boxes in a future vid. So let's head back to the shop and get started. So I have my piece of hickory here and I'm gonna get six of the wine displays out of this board. The two outside pieces are wider than the middle piece. So I'm gonna cut the first wide piece, then I'm gonna move my fence, cut the middle piece and move my fence back and cut the last wide piece. And the reason I'm gonna cut it in that sequence is so when I add the two contrasting strips down the middle here, these three boards will have continuous grain. So now that we have our three pieces of hickory cut, we're gonna cut our thin pieces of a contrasting walnut that's gonna go in between here. And when it's all together, you'll see that the hickory, the green pattern matches up. All right, so now that we got these strips cut, they're gonna go in here just like this. Now we'll glue that up. go. Let that sit and dry for a couple hours. We'll take this guy and run it through the planer on both sides. To get it down to the thickness that we need. So to make sure I have my template on here straight, I'm gonna draw a line down the middle of the board and I can align that line with the line on the template. Use a little bit of spray adhesive, very light. So now I can gang these up and we can cut two out at a time over at the drill press and the bandsaw. You might be asking, why don't you use a pattern bit over at the router? That's because I don't really like using the router and that pattern bit running on the end grain can tend to catch. It's just a lot safer to do it over at the bandsaw. You can use double-sided tape if you want, but I'm going to try to use hot glue to double these up. We will drill out all the holes first and then we'll cut this out over at the bandsaw. On the bandsaw, we're gonna try to cut as close to the line as we can without touching it and we will sand down to that line. There's these little lines on the inside here. It's gonna be hard to sand that so we will cut right on the line. But these outside ones, we'll cut really close and then sand down to that final shape.
So now I'm going to round over all the edges with a 1 8 inch round over bit. It's the smallest round over bit that I have. I like very small round overs and it gives it a nice little profile. Every single morning, I start the day off the exact same way, and that is making a pot of coffee. We don't drink coffee just to drink coffee in our house. We drink coffee for the taste, and that's why I'm excited to partner up with Trade. Trade finds the perfect coffee for you and delivers it straight to your door as often as you like. Everybody has different tastes in coffee. In our house, we love light roast, and we love to grind our beans every morning and make it in a coffee maker. Some people like a French press, some people like a pour over, and some people like it dark. Trade has their own quick six question quiz that'll match you with a coffee you'll love based on your taste. Sign up for the hookup where you'll get to try coffee tailored to your taste profile from the best roasters all over the US as often as you want. Your coffee comes fresh. It's not roasted until after you place your order, meaning it's going to be the freshest coffee you've ever tasted. Take the quiz and get an amazing bag of coffee perfectly suited to your own taste. If you're one of the first 100 people to subscribe to Trade, you'll get 50% off your first hookup order. One of the reasons I love Trade is I get to try different coffees and it's delivered fresh right to my door. Just click the link in the description down below and use the code David. Finishing this with some thinned down polyurethane. These are constantly my best sellers every year for the holiday craft shows. I sell out every single time. I have plans for these on my website at makesomething.tv. I encourage you to take the plans, sell them online, sell them at craft shows, do whatever you can do. I'm probably going to do two coats of this polyurethane really thin and then maybe a quick waxing on there. In years past, I used to have 10 different styles of these using all kinds of different woods. And what I've learned is you don't want to give too many choices. So now I just take one species of wood or one style of these, and that's all that I put out. If somebody doesn't know which one to buy and they walk away to think about it, they're likely to not come back at craft shows because they're going to spend their money at another table. You don't want to paralyze somebody with choice because it tends to lead to no sales. So I stick with one style. Plus it's easier to batch. The trick to making money on these is batching these out. How many can you make at one time? I thought about changing up the design. I thought about doing like a river table style with some epoxy inlay in there. Thought about seeing, seeing some crazy different things, but all that takes more time. And this style right here is so quick to batch out. I don't like a buildup of film. That's why I'm only gonna do a couple coats. I want it to still feel like wood because at my craft tables, I invite people to pick things up and touch them. My favorite finishes for craft show projects is definitely spray lacquer. It goes on really quick and dries fast. I'm trying to move away from the sprays for health reasons. And then I like shellac, but I have heard that when liquor and alcohol is spilled on shellac that it ruins the finish. So I'm sticking with polyurethane. All of this wood came from my friends at KenCraft, KenCraftCompany.com. They're really good friends of mine. They are a family owned business and they do sell online. So check them out. I think the reason these sell so well at craft shows, especially the holiday craft shows, is people you don't know what to get their loved ones and their friends as gifts. And when you see this, I display this with the bottle and the glasses on there and I sell them with the glasses or without the glasses. And then this year, I'm also going to make a gift box that this fits into along with some glasses. And we're gonna make that gift box next. I have plans for these on my website at makesomething.tv. I'll see you guys in a few days. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. Mm -hmm.